Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy T here. Today I'm doing something very exciting, something that's very groundbreaking, revolutionary, a huge change in my life that I've been preparing for the last three hours to do. Today I'm going to be changing up the beans that I drink every morning for my daily bean juice, or coffee. I'm changing up the beans that I drink for coffee every day. Come with me as we talk about this. So if you know me, you'll know that every morning I wake up and I do pour over coffee and I drink JJ by JJ, JJ by J, JJ by JJ Bean, which has been my classic coffee pour over uh, beans that I've been grinding or getting pre-ground for the last three years. But today, I'm excited to try something new, which is this 49th Parallel Coffee Roasters and to drink that every single morning, or at least the mornings where I don't feel like going to Starbucks. So today we have the Citro de Lala beans that come to us from Brazil, which have been roasted by 49 Parallel. I picked this up from a local Vancouver coffee shop named Prado, and I'll be honest, it was the color of the packaging that really got me. I really love how this turquoise and teal blue just pops out on a shelf and immediately reminds me of the Tiffany & Co. jewelry boxes. I should probably stop picking uh, coffee beans from the color of the packaging, but hey, advertising works. Interestingly enough, this is the first time doing any actual research about the coffee that I drink, but really I think this is something I should be doing more of, because one, it's something I drink every day, two, I should probably make sure it's ethically sourced, and three, considering that we might not have coffee beans in general in 20 or 30 years, probably get to, you know, know a bit more about the stuff that I consume. Just probably a good thing to do. So written on top of this bag is Sitio de Lala, which I think literally translates to Place of Lala. According to 49th Parallel, it comes from a family-owned farm found within the small town of Alto Chiquichaba in the state of Minas Gerais, Brazil. So Lala, who is actually known as Wasamar Gassosadre, has lived there for 25 years. And a really cool thing about these beans and the way that they're produced is that it comes from a family-owned farm, the family involving three of her own daughters. She is a single mother of three. According to the write-up, her middle daughter Luana is also a math teacher and helps the most with this production. One thing that's cool about these beans and the way that they've gotten here is through their relationship with the coffee exporter FAF. Apparently there's a new project called the Women of the Valley where the aim is to grow the number of women coffee farmers in the area. Now in Alto Jakichiba apparently there are more than 80 families that have been inspired by Luana and Lava which have started to focus their production on specialty coffees. Again, I don't know a lot about coffee and I've just started getting into researching and learning about the process. But, you know, in an industry where it really depends on ethically sourced beans, making sure they come from a good place and good farming habits, I think this is something I'm happy to support. Now let's watch this coffee filter through so we can actually start drinking it and seeing how it tastes. And we're back with our first cup of Stitcher the Lala coffee. And now uh, let's, uh, let's see how this tastes. I brewed with pour over, of course. It tastes, or it smells like coffee, but it does smell fruity. Sweet, but not chocolatey sweet. Uh, there's tartness to it. Like it, it feels like a juice. Almost like, a, like it feels kind of juicy. The aftertaste is like really good, like the part where you just like, it passes through the back of your tongue and you're just starting to like, just let it sink in, like that tastes really good. This is something I can definitely see eating with like a snack, like a, like a very, like a very lightly sweetened cookie or like a digestive biscuit even, like this would be very, for me at least, would be very easy to, to chase it down. That's not how you want to describe a good coffee, but like it's still a good coffee. Um, as far as going for a bag of beans because you thought the color of the bag looked cool, I think this is pretty good and I'm pretty excited to keep trying this for the rest of this month. If you liked it, this is just my uh, way of trying to get to make more things and videos. This is a really quick and easy idea that I had today. If you like this stuff, let me know. Leave a comment or a like. Anything goes. 
uh, and we'll see if I make more videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm T. This has been my turquoise teal bag of coffee. Of, of let me let me look it up. Of Sitio de Lala coffee from Brazil from 49 Parallel. Uh, overall, really enjoyed it. Hope you have some coffee today. Okay, bye. I did it. Oh, no, there's a Nola bar. Just watch. Hello, fine. Not a sponsor, but it should.